Oh. Uh, you're a good son, Lamont. Yep. Look at there. Ham and eggs and cornbread with blue bonnet on it. <laughs> and uh and a yellow hand grenade. <laughs> That's a papaya. Oh, a papaya. Well, where's my pa present? Hey, Pop, would you forget about the present and just enjoy your breakfast? Listen, let me ask you something. Didn't you have to make a pickup around 10 o'clock? Oh, man, I almost forgot about it. Wow. Hey, well, Pop, listen. I want you to do me a favor. What? When I leave here, promise me that you won't look for the present. I promise you I ain't look for no present. Because if you find that you disappoint everybody. I'm not going to look for nothing, son. Okay. I promise you that I ain't going to look for nothing till you leave. <laughs> I can't help it if I trip over a present. Now, where could I trip over a present? Let's see now. Rollo came in, and we were talking probably about this thing, and I said, slide, Jackie, slide, King. So Rollo left, and then he went in his pocket, and he walked around to the kitchen. I was first, and... <laughs> Bingo. I see Rollo brought it here, so it's probably the world's smallest hubcap. <laughs> I shouldn't open it, but I promised Lamont I wouldn't look for it, so I shouldn't open it, and he trusts me. But you ought to know better than trust me. <laughs> wow. Look at that. What I've always wanted a signet ring with my own initials. Look at that. FS. If I didn't care. <laughs> and would I be sure that this is love beyond complete? Well, that's it for the dinner show. <laughs> hey, hey, Fred. Hey, Happy, how you feel? Best felicitations on this auspicious day, commemorating the origination of your very successful entrepreneurial enterprise. <laughs> Come on in. Say, Fred, I'm afraid we got some uh, disappointing news for you. Uh, hold it, Smitty. In other words, Fred, we have some disappointing news for you. <laughs> Listen, uh, we're not gonna be able to make that little party of yours tonight. Well, we're gonna have to cancel out uh, 86 of it, as they say in the streets. The department's putting us on a news shift. We gotta cover that big robbery at the Royal Wilshire Hotel. Yeah, the uh, tiptoe burglar struck again. And y'all got to cover that. Yeah, well, it wasn't just an ordinary robbery. No, no, this was a very big tear-off. Rip-off. Oh, yeah, rip-off. <laughs> As a matter of fact, they ripped off one of the most legendary stars of stage, television, and radio ever to grace his profession. Don't tell me they finally got rid of a night. <laughs> no, Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. They really cleaned him out, too. Wallet, cufflinks, watches, everything. And to top it off, a $50,000 signet ring. Poor Sinatra. Poor Sinatra. He lost his wallet and his ring. Lost a chance at the vice presidency. It's been a very bad year. That's right, Mr. Sanford, but happy anniversary to you, and uh, I'm sure you're going to enjoy the gift that we all uh, chipped in for. A gift for me? What a surprise. Yeah, and I know you're going to love it. Uh, Lamont's friend uh, Rollo picked it up from one of his contacts. Rollo's contact? The only way to contact his contacts is contact a warden. Well, we'll see you later, Alley Cat. Alligator. Oh, yeah, alligator. Gator. Gator rhymes with later. In the... Okay. <laughs>